Welcome back. Welcome back! <laughs> Nothing happened last time. Yep, no, you didn't. Schrodinger's episode. We're gonna yeah. tell Misha everything we know. We're gonna tell her I about mean, it's anal. like a cat that doesn't have legs and uses wheels to get around. What about- <laughs> She's, That's like the kind of Schrodinger's cat she is. <laughs> Aww. Do you think Misha's a cat girl? Uh, yeah. She wears, like, ears outside of school? I- Wait. I'm probably misremembering, but doesn't Shizune have, like, those little bumpets? Where it's, like, kinda- kinda cat-like? Like, on the- uh... No, that's Asuka Steven. Is that what they're called? From Ever- From Evangelion. Evangelion? Anyway. Read it. Well, I suppose someone else know, should know my problems. Can't hurt. Heck, maybe Misha can offer some advice. We had a fight I'm at your house. I'm just being a bitch. I'm just being a dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bitch. I keep trying to get close to her, and she won't let me get close. And I said something stupid, and she threw me out. Have you talked to her? Have you... Have you talked to her since then? Misha looks genuinely concerned. I'm surprised, as I'd expect her drop the subject after finding out what the trouble was or be a bitch even more surprisingly is how quickly i find myself spilling my guts to her it's all a trap dude no i have it i just can't bring myself to face her after that i made a complete fool of myself and she probably hates me now anyway especially since i have seen her since then you're pretty slow hachan this doesn't sound like advice what Misha I mean, places. it's fast as fuck. <laughs> I'm fast. You've That's... seen me run. <laughs> uh, I can lift heavy stuff. I can run fast. <laughs> my heart works. My heart works. I promise. My heart is weird, but I'm still Sigma male. <laughs> Launches in a speech and her hands on her hips. The solution to your problem is simple. You have to go into apo- you have to go and apologize to her. Leaving things like this will just make things worse. You can't know that she hates you now unless she tells you. Otherwise, there's no evidence of what you fear is true. And if you really care about her, shouldn't you be worried about how she's taking all this? With a sudden start, I realize that she's right. I've kept waking up to an early alarm because part of me wants to meet Emmy at the track out for runs. I've kept rummaging because I know Emmy would worry about me if I didn't stay healthy. When I went on the roof yesterday, I was half hoping that she'd be there and felt disappointed when she wasn't. I'm an idiot. Kinda Hachan. So, go and apologize to her as soon as you can, okay? I'll open my mouth to say that I'll do that right away and that I should probably tell her to not tell anyone about the anal. Uh, but the lunch bell rings, and I realize that I have- I still have afternoon classes. First thing after class is over, I'll go and see her, and please don't tell anyone about anal, and, uh, thanks for the advice. Misha beams at me, as if I were a child that just learned how his ABCs. Good. I'll let Shishan know that you're okay, then. Uh, yeah, okay. Steven, uh, I'm just gonna say, like, as a note, you might have to deafen some- some, like, the audio. Uh, during that, because Indigo was playing around in the room, she was kind of loud. I don't know if it picked up on the mic or not, but she was she was slapping around this paper bag. <laughs> so, like, I'll raise for the, the sake of the audio. 20. Just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> for the sake of the audio, I think you you might have to like deafen that section, just no, it's okay. as like like a you serious should... edit, <laughs> like you should, you should like an cat. actual useful edit note. Yeah, the cat's gotta okay. go. Yeah, the cat's gotta go. Gotta kill your cat now. Should I get her out of here? No, you're no, fine. No, I'm just kidding. You're, you're fine. <laughs> We're really never gonna be that that anal about it. Yeah. Okay. With a wave. So cut all that out. No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. With a wave, and I can. Uh, there's something about. Bathrooms. People are coming in, they're leaving. Bye. I suppose she and Suzuna have student council business again in the bathroom. While the afternoon wears on, I find myself impatient for less instead. I need to see Emmy now. Yeah. I have to try to set things right. Even if Emmy hates me now, I have to at least apologize. I owe her that much. Should I meet her in her room? No, I decide. It would delay things too much. If I know Emmy, then I can meet her at the track. Still, I have no idea what I'm going to say when I get there. But I take comfort in knowing that Emmy... Uh, uh, 
Play it by ear. Stop being nervous and just get to the track. Figure out the rest when I get there. Track looms ahead. See, you see how the music is is different. That's how you know. Yeah, you the but right it's decision. stupid because she basically said the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but the, the other time, you're and being then he like basically came it. to the same conclusion. So it's stupid. Anyway, no, wait. But I think what's going to happen is going to give a more heartfelt response versus the. Yeah, but it's still like, stupid because it's sorry. literally the same thing. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, uh, the track looms ahead. Another jolt of nerves hit me in the butt. I resist the urge butt. to turn and walk away. Instead, note the satisfaction that I was right. Amy's running. I don't make myself immediately known. I find a seat on the bleachers and watch her run. See? Same thing. Find trips around the track? Yeah. What are you doing here? Not the quiet response I'd hoped for. I want to apologize waiting, for what uh... I said the other day. <laughs> the other day? <laughs> it's been a week. It's been almost a week, Hassel. Better late than never. She crosses her arms and nods. See? Same thing. Yeah, Steven. Uh, try your best to, like, do a sort of, like, you can, uh, like, do, like, a different sort of register. Like, because before you, like, in the other recording, you were sort of, like, sort of, uh, doing a more somber voice. True. In his narration. So, try doing a more brighter and, uh, more positive one. Well, you think you're the director of Saparcade? <laughs> She doesn't seem to have heard me, or she doesn't want to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I gave a chance, disregarding completely the fact that I am not dressed for it. <laughs> my feet hurt and my shirt collar feels like a noose around my neck. But I still have to chase after her, because if I don't, I'll lose my chance. Amy hasn't started to really accelerate yet, which is probably the only reason why I'm able to catch up to her. I reach out and tap her on the shoulder just before my legs give up running in these dress shoes. Surprisingly, fortunately, all that running seems to have paid off. I'm short of breath, yes, but at least my heart isn't actively trying to force its way out of my ribcage. Touch on my shoulder has stopped Emmy. While there is a flash of concern, when she sees me catching my breath, it seems like it is a good idea and capable. The concern is short-lived. Wait. She seems so irritated at me being here. Uh, I almost lose my nerve, but I've lost my nerve enough. I need to explain myself. Why can't you just let the matters rest? Amy folds her arms and bounces one blade on the ground in an approximation of tapping her foot impatiently. Angry as she is, and as nervous as I am, she still looks beautiful. You're hot when you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hassau, explain. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know that you're really sensitive about the accident and about your dad. I can see an Amy's face twitch at the mention of the two things that have already steadily driven us apart. Or at least made me feel like we're driven apart. But that's why I want you to know about them. Will I you think. not talk like that, <laughs> please? Because I see how much they hurt you. And I want to be there to go Stephen, this is perfect. You're being... <laughs> don't stop. Keep going. It makes me miserable seeing you sleepless and depressed. And don't pretend you aren't because I know... Okay. I just remember that night when you fell asleep with me and you had that nightmare and that you were happy to have me there when you woke up. I want to be able to be there for you like whenever you need me to be, okay? <laughs> the stern face cracks slightly and me interrupts before I can continue further. Just stop right there. We can't see each other anymore, okay? She's rushing now, looking everywhere but at me. I'm surprised she doesn't pull. She knows I can't catch her. We're not we're not right for one another. That's not true, you know it. No, it's true. I can lift You're heavy too. things and, and you can run fast. <laughs> <laughs> we're perfect. The possibilities. We're perfect together. I read that. Uh, I I I know. I know. I I've been pushy and knowing about your past, and if you can't tell me, then at least let me be there, even if you don't I don't know the reason. It's okay, I promise. I won't ask why you need comfort. I'll just give it freely. Emmy shaking her head. Tears seem to be threatening the corners of her eyes. Stop saying that. <laughs> why? Because you're afraid you'll take me up on it? Because your dad's afraid. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep chiding Tona from my voice as I respond. 
Yes, you are. You told me yourself, remember? That's okay. Really, it is. However, it seems to me that somebody who'd managed to come out of that wreck and still as energetic and cheerful as you or would be determined enough to face that fear. Put me, determination? Put me, like, in the, what do you know about determination? Yeah, put me in the trees with like a little like uh, director, uh, like one of those little director cones and like one of those little clappers and like like a camera, like a big film camera. <laughs> Because I'm directing the... <laughs> You're writing a teen movie right now? Yeah. Yeah. I know that there's a girl so determined to take care of a total stranger that she'd steal his food at a festival. I know there is a girl so determined to help me with my own problems that she'd draw up a complete dietary and exercise plan and that she'd not only draw up the plans, that she'd follow them with me even when she couldn't run. Determined enough to keep me at arm's length and she'd put herself through emotional pain as if she thought it was the right thing to do. <laughs> Although there's one thing that this determined girl didn't quite plan for, which was that I might feel the same kind of determination to keep her from being hurt. Fell in love with you, and I refuse to let that be thrown away because you're afraid of losing me. Squee! <laughs> Squee! <laughs> what little control Emmy still has at that point cracks, and I find myself suddenly involved in her embrace as she cries. She cries like that. <laughs> Wait, go back. I didn't read it. Why are you doing this? We can't just leave you alone. Wee! I hold her close and plant a kiss on top of her forehead. Do that. Kiss, kiss Emmy. Make a little sound effect. I did. I'm sorry, yeah. Emmy. Good. You've helped me when I first arrived, so now I can I can help you. It's only fair. You're utterly hopeless. Do you know that? <laughs> she hiccups and trembles <laughs> a little. Funny, I could say the same about you. Can you do something for me, Hassel? Anything, babe. Fuck off! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Can you go now? I feel like she shoved a knife through my chest. Will it go? I need to. I need to think. Okay. I just can't tell you everything yet. I'm still scared, and when you're around, you can't think clearly. You do, do but do me another favor. Was that? Show up for our morning run tomorrow. I smile feeling better than I did all week. Of course, I won't miss it for the world. Babe. Baby. Emmy <laughs> steps back slowly, almost reluctantly, and she sniffles a little and then grins at me. A real smile lights up the track, and overpowering the fading evening's light. Steven edit her face, cover her face, and snot. <laughs> Damn no, tears. No. <laughs> okay. Ah! ah! She darts forward suddenly, planting a soft kiss on the lips, and then steps back shyly. Put phlegm on the screen. You're gonna show up at tomorrow's. <laughs> you're, gonna sh you're gonna show up at tomorrow's run, and she's gonna be fully prepared for anal. Yeah. Yeah. But like, and it's gonna when be like a great time this time. <laughs> Yeah, she's when gonna she have like the right the lube. She's gonna douche her bee hole out so you don't get poopy on it. Yeah, she's gonna practice twerking. Yeah, she and then it, she's gonna actually like. There's she's gonna got, be a like, bed an in anima. the shed, so you can That's actually she's fuck been, on a bed. Yeah, she's been gone for the week because she's been, like she's she's just been sticking an enema or her boat hole for to get all the poopy out. You shouldn't do that for a week. Yeah, you would do that for like I don't know, maybe a day. Or two days. Let us know in the comments. Like an hour. <laughs> like an hour. Before? Yeah, you don't do it for a whole damn day. I don't know. I've never done anal. Well, uh, okay, goodbye. Spitting on her back foot, she takes off running again, and I know that our conversation's at an end. Well, let's tingle with the warmth of that brief kiss and the memories of another longer kisses. I went back to my kisses. room with this speak. Emmy kisses. Emmy kisses. Tomorrow my alarm goes off, and I'll get up. Hassel's gonna Sleeps get through it. tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck! Like, he, like, Emmy's not the one getting prepped for anal. Hassel's the one getting prepped for anal. <laughs> Hell yeah. Aww. Edit in Sonic the Hedgehog. She's going faster than Sonic the Hedgehog, Steven. No, he's beating her this time. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Lenny, we did it. The morning sun is bright through my windows. And the sound of my alarm quickly has me up and about. I slept surprisingly well last night, securing the knowledge that I at least got another chance with Emmy. 
if I get keep going with myself doing anything stupid, maybe I'll find out what's been eating at her recently. I have a few educated guesses, but nothing concrete. Maybe it's her dad, I don't know. And certainly nothing that I'm going to say to her. I'd much prefer her to tell me herself. Emmy is waiting for me as promised, looking a little haggard, uh, but uh, otherwise bright and cheerful. Much more so than any day. So, you're late. Prove it. Uh, you know, you're early. Emmy grins, and it feels like we're finally back to where it should be. Uh, except now Emmy, not just me, wants to take another step forward. Although a part of me warns that she'll be back at the last second. Hurry up and stretch this out. I don't want to miss the bus. But with the bus? <gasps> the bus. Is she going to take you oh. to her dead poppy? <laughs> I think she's going to take you to where the milkshakes are. <laughs> yeah, the bus. I want to show you something, and I don't want to be late. Okay. To the cemetery? I try not to grin too wide, but I'm happy Bond Wars. Amy wants to hang out after the run after all. Uh, but her promise of showing me something has me even more intrigued. Is this what she had to think about? I wonder just what she's been planning to do. The best anal of your life. Oh, well, her face. No. I quickly go through her warm routine while Amy bounces impatiently from one foot to another. She really does seem to want to get moving as soon as possible. Look at her, she's licking her lip. <laughs> it runs over so quickly I can barely believe it's <laughs> just like so done. Alright, I'm done. Uh she's blistering. Well, until a few laps, uh, I had to slow down just in case, but I don't mind. And Emmy's been waiting patiently for me to finish. As patiently as she can wait, and ah Finish? Good. Come on. Grab my arm, she practically rushed me down to the nurse's office. Hurry! Hey, you seem to be in a bit of an er, hurry, Emmy. Are you trying to catch the early bussy? <laughs> oh, wait, I mean bus. Yeah, I told my mom I'd be back for lunch, so fucking hurry up. Well, I'll take care of you first, then. Please don't fist <laughs> me this time. But Hasao's gotta come with me, too. Oh, I was planning on taking care of Hasao, too. <laughs> Are you just fists at the same time? Yeah, you got two hands. Yeah. The nurse raises a single eyebrow at this statement and peers at the two of us searchingly. Really? The day, huh? <gasps> it's the day of her dead dad's dead anniversary when he dead. Emmy responds in a nod, followed by a surprisingly shy grin. Well then, we'll make this quick. Squeeze! Scalpel! Um, it's like immediately surgery <laughs> as fast as possible. Amy enters the nurse's office, and I patiently wait outside of her, uh, for her, haha, <laughs> to finish. Wondering why uh, the nurse seems surprised by Emmy's de declaration. I, I know why. I feel like I'm missing out on some kind of joke uh, or something, beyond the fact that it's clearly significant in some way, of course. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, February 10th. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it is. True to his word, the nurse has Emmy out of his office, surprisingly quickly, and I take her place after promise to meet up at the front gate. The nurse takes my pulse and listens for a bit. Your heart beats faster than usual. Been pushing yourself again, have you? Or is it my charm, Hassau? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Emmy was in a rush. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Today is rather important to her, you know. Yeah, but why? I suspected that could be the case, but I have no idea why that's the case. She hasn't told you. Interesting. So you're not gonna tell me either, then? No, I'm not. I suspect that Emmy has her own plans for explaining today to you, and I don't want to mess with that. You'll find out soon enough, so what's the rush? Now. As for your heart, I would take it easy for the rest of the day. No spontaneous races or anything like that. No wacky races, Hassau, got it? Back and still fuck? No anal. Got it, she won't have her running legs on anyway, right? No, but if you think something like that is going to stop her. Okay, good point. I don't think it'll be much of an issue today of all days, but still. If he's trying to reassure me he's doing a shit job, 
I'm quickly becoming more and more worried about what today could be for it. Like suddenly finding out that Emmy's in a cult or something. Oh my god. At same what cult would she be in? Uh, the, the happy, happiest. I meant real ones. What real cult would she be in? Uh... She could be like a Heaven's Gate. She, she's a she's a QN on. Oh. At the same time, <laughs> if today is no, that's that's Kenji. Yeah, that oh, yes, no. that is Kenji. Yeah, uh, Emmy likes to go on think, Crystal Cafe. And... Do you think that uh, Kenji raided the Capitol? Yeah, he was there. Definitely. It's a totally different country. He just went. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, if today is such a big deal and Emmy wants me to be here for it, then maybe she really wants to grow closer to me. Maybe this will be the answer to all my riddles. So sleepless nights and then sudden mood swings. Oh no, is she going to kill me? Either way, I barely remember to thank the nurse before taking off as quickly as I dare from my room. To get in a shower, throw on some decent looking clothes. If today is important, then as it seems to be, I should dress appropriately. Put up posters of Emmy Bitch ass, same Kenji. outfit. And the nurse, and everybody that matters in your life. But the nurse has to be shirtless, and he signed it, because he get he gave it to Hisao. <laughs> yeah. This is for going so long without a heart attack. <laughs> Emmy, of course, proves me wrong as soon as I reach the front gate, wearing her usual shirt and shorts. So at least I know it's not a terribly formal affair, whatever it is. You're early, Hisao. And you're late. Not as early as you, eager are we. Emily. Emily. Mm. Pokes her tongue. The bus stop. Emily cheek pokes her tongue. Emily cheekily. Uh, the bus stop isn't very crowded at this hour, which seems to please Emmy, and we end up relaxing a little bit as we wait. We sit in silence for a while, but I can tell that Emmy is trying to work herself up to say something. I don't have anything to say myself, so I sit waiting for her to talk. It doesn't take too long. So, uh, I'm sure you're curious as to why the nurse thought it was so weird for me to be bringing you along today. I was, yeah, but if you're not ready to tell me. Amy stops my sentence by placing a finger on my lips. Don't tempt me, Hassel. <laughs> I want to tell you this, but I'm just uncertain as to how to go about it. I don't want to keep delaying or de deferring. I just want to be able to, to say it. Okay, so say it. You know that it's not going to be that easy for me, Hassel. Okay, so uh, treat it like running and warm up to it with something small and easy and go from there, but don't go too fast. I don't know. Be, I'm a patient man. I can wait. I call us lift heavy things. <laughs> Emmy seems to consider my words, weighing them against what is probably a desire to get it over with. I will admit, as much as I keep telling Emmy to take her time, I wouldn't mind getting it over with either. I can read. But somehow, I know that Emmy probably needs more time than the bus ride will provide to get it all out. Whatever it put in, is. Yeah. Put in that clip of Markiplier raging at getting over it and, and him like just yelling at the screen. Yelling, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Why? Remember that clip? Because like he said getting over it, that's the title drop. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then Markiplier is fucking Steven, mad. Steven, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. The bus stop the bus stop probably isn't the best place for this anyway, but just to make sure I don't go back on my word, I'll at least say this. She takes a deep breath, <sighs> lets it out, and after a moment, she says in a low voice, Give her a Markiplier voice. We're going to see my dad today. Oh. Give her a Markiplier mustache, <laughs> Steven. <laughs> The words hang in the air, and I can see that Emmy's afraid that I'll panic and disappear in response, which a part of me almost wants to do. But it would be stupid of me to back out or to suddenly abandon the promise I made to be there for Emmy when she needs me. Oh, uh, fuck, the nurse. Uh, maybe we should break up, Emmy. No, God! <laughs> she doesn't bring anyone along, or at least I'm willing to bet she hasn't done uh, before today. Uh, the day seems to take it on an even greater significance. What has it taken Emmy to even get this far? Uh, uh, and why is uh, the best thing I can imagine response? Yeah. I, oh, uh, I don't know what to say. Nothing, I think. Just promise that you're going to come with me. Of course, we're already at the bus stop. Emmy smiles wanely, looking a little relieved. Good. In that case, we better get going. 
Uh, the bus pulls up and just a little after she finishes the sentence. Vague memories of my first trip out here come to mind as I step off the bus, but unfortunately they're too vague to be of any use. I'll be first to admit that I don't recall how to get to Emmy's house, so I let her lead the way. She seems content to walk in silence, and I find myself I have no idea what I could possibly say. So the two of us arrive at her house, having said nothing since getting off the bus. Emmy's hot mom. I don't remember her voice. Nah, yeah, just something new. Opens the door and doesn't. It was like. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Emmy would have phoned a set, let her mother know the change plans. Emmy, Hassel, you're just in time. Munch is about ready. No, I see images. Oh, it's her voice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. I was afraid we might be running late. As fast as you were going this morning, I doubt there was much of a chance of that. You're fast as fuck, Emmy. <laughs> I certainly hope so. She wasn't too much of a bother herself. She tends to get a little paranoid about being on time when food's involved. Oh, me too, girl. I had it noticed. The truth is, I had noticed. This earns me a swat on the arm from Emmy, who despite the serious nature of our conversation on the bus and the almost brooding quiet walk has become quickly cheerful again. Probably to keep her mother from worrying about whatever it is Emmy plans to tell me later. Mrs. Abarazaki ushers in, and in short order we're around the table devouring lunch. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I got here, but for once, I seem to be eating almost as much as Emmy. Steven put roast, uh, Arby's roast beef sandwiches on the table. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Goodness, it's a good thing I meet so much. The two of you are acting like you haven't eaten in days. I skipped breakfast this morning. You should never do that. Me too. You should never do that. <laughs> Had to catch the bus, I assume. That and I figured you'd make too much food, so it wouldn't matter if I skip breakfast. Well, it's good to know that I'm predictable. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. The conversation falls off as we near the clear of the table of anything edible. He eats the plates. <laughs> yeah. Little, little cardboard boxes. It is a testament to the sheer amount of food on offer on that we the, don't... the fucking wrapper that's kind of aluminum-y. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Jello. Fucking funeral potatoes. Funeral fucking Arby's. Funeral <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what? Like, never, shut up. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I lean back in my chair at the side and thanks Mrs. Ibarazaki for the food. I'm glad you liked it as hell. Now, has Emmy told you where we're going? Uh, sort of. Is it far? Not really, but we'll drive there to save time. It's close kind of early. Oh, it closes kind of early. I nod in assent and stand up ready to go. Well then, shall we, ladies? You smack both of them on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> a Mrs. Abarazaki nods and leaves the room and grab her keys. Emmy, I notice, has started to fidget nervously. Is there any chance we can get a three-way with your mom? Whoa. Emmy uh, smiles tightly at me and shrugs. She's fallen silent again. Maybe there is no three-way. Which probably means that I'm right. She's starting to regret bringing me along. Not that I blame her. She's done such a good job of shutting me out. I doubt it's easy to sh suddenly open up. Honestly, I'm worried that she's forcing it. But she said while waiting for the bus, I'm not supposed to give her a chance to break out. But, uh, 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 excuse me. I suppose there's not much of a choice. I can't go back on my promise. So she can't go back on hers. I just hope that both of us are up for it. We're off! Emmy's mo go. mother blows through the dining room, collects two of us, and heads out the door in a brisk pace. Whoa, she's strong. She's like, <gasps> she's <laughs> running through. Yeah, toast in her mouth with the toaster still. <laughs> Does that classic anime trope when they're running late and they're like, yeah, and they eating they toast glide with the toaster in her mouth. No, like they have the toast, but the toast is like still in the toaster. That's an a classic anime trope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah the yeah. toaster. Yeah. I saw it a lot yeah, in Sailor yeah, Moon. Yeah, but there, I'm sure and then like ones. there, there's a boy, and then he's just like, "Wow, she's so fucking cute. She <laughs> didn't finish her lunch." Okay. Anyway, the car pulls up at the cemetery gates, and I feel Emmy tense up beside me. 
reach over and give her a hand of comforting squeeze, which causes her to relax a little. Wait and a minute. Your dad's dead. Oh, he's I'm a, scared ghost. Of a ghost. Ah! He's yeah. Your dad's out. a skeleton. Ah! I hate skeletons. <laughs> Start having a panic attack. Uh, yeah, we have to like uh, physically talk to the skeleton and everything. You gotta have a voice for the skeleton. Joe, how much <laughs> longer do we have? Could we do a second episode of this? Um, I, I, I think like, uh, yeah, just keep going. Just keep going through it. Okay. That's fine. Amy's mother doesn't follow, explaining that she prefers to visit the grave alone. Amy steps through the gates and looks back. As if to make sure I'm still there, we step into the c- 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 cemetery. I don't feel comfortable in cemeteries. Gravestones litter the ground, each one serving as a reminder that someone used to be alive and is no longer. How many Put died some young? Spooky skeletons in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, but ghosts <laughs> some on the screen. Skeletons in the trees and ghosts. A bunch of fireflies. Uh, when I wind up with a marker of my own, uh, how much longer do I have left? This concept of not waking up, not seeing Emmy anymore. Oh, it's not happy. Uh, it frightens me, and Emmy's a ghost. I don't. Wanna, <laughs> I don't want to be among dead people. I don't want to see their stones and think about who they were and what they could have been if they had more time. Emmy died twenty five years ago. <laughs> yeah, she just like, 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 sinks into the ground. Yeah, sleeping. And then at the end, she was dead this whole time. Yeah, you had anal with a ghost. <laughs> Yeah, the anal with a skeleton. Oh no. Ew. <laughs> uh then I uh look at the girl next to me and my resolve returns. Emmy striding purposefully down the path, eyes clear, setting a pace that's nearly a jog. Sooner we get there, I suspect uh she thinks the better. We're here. A gravestone wholly unremarkable and everything except for the same name etched upon it. The grass is growing up around the base. Emmy's eyes are riveted to the stone. So what's funny about this, I didn't say it on air, but I already told you guys. I was looking up for a bit, I don't remember what it was anymore, for Uh an edit, and I look up anime gravestone. (laughs) And this was like the fourth result. So funny. I kind of spoiled that for myself on accident. Anyway. After a few moments, she turns around, looking surprisingly calm yet solemn. Pink's not actually my favorite color, you know. Well, you're dumb. Well, it's mine. I'm warming up to it. Uh. People tend to think that pink's my favorite color. I think it's because I like strawberries. And even though those are red, they just assume that pink's the right color for strawberries. And that's my favorite color, but it's not. I'm too polite to tell anyone otherwise, of course. And it's not the kind of thing worth getting worried about. But I'll bet even you thought pink was my favorite color. Blue, that's my favorite color. My mom and dad are the only two that know that, and now you do too. Uh, thanks for telling me, I think. You're welcome. There's a pause as she considers what to say next, drawing a quick breath. I can't carry a tune to save my life. I can hum, but actually singing a song is something I've never been able to do. I don't mind because I'm not a fan of karaoke anyway. Get drunk and do it, then it's (laughs) fun. Well, that's one potential date idea out the window. People all think that I'm a really popular and friendly person, but I only have a few close friends, probably because I keep everyone in the dark. But I think it's also because I hate the idea of losing a close friend. Girl, you got PTSD. Mm -hmm. There are many people worth the risk. I'm terrible at saying goodbye. I sometimes think that I only run because it's what I used to do with my father. You're not my first boyfriend. I dated a guy for a long for a long while during my second year at Yamako. But in the end, we broke up because I didn't want to get closer to him. He couldn't live with the distance between us. Korea speaking increases slightly as she's rushing towards the finish line. I'm actually one year older than you. Everyone thinks I'm younger because I'm short, but I had to skip one year of school because of my accident. They initially thought I was paralyzed when they pulled me out of the wreckage. I'd lost my legs already, but they were afraid that I wouldn't be able to use what was left of them. After surgery, it was clear that there was initial assessment. Their initial initial assessment was mistaken. I couldn't feel my legs because of shock, short-term paralysis due to other trauma I had experienced. 
My recovery was one of the fastest they'd ever seen, or so they told me. I never found out if they were serious about that or if they told or if they told that to all the patients learning to walk again. I She pauses, gathering herself one last effort. Eight years ago today I lost my legs and I lost my father as well. He died on the way to the hospital. I didn't even get to the grave site until two months later and couldn't attend his funeral. I'm so sorry. Don't be. That's what everyone always says, that they're sorry. I hate hearing that. Like, anyone could have done anything to change what happened. You know the best piece of advice I got? These things happen. I don't even remember who said it, but I guess they didn't have anything better to say. But it's true, you know. These things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. They aren't necessarily planned, and they aren't always bad. They are always good, but they are. So I made the decision that I would live without worrying about the future to be sure that I never got, never had to say goodbye again. I decided I wouldn't let people get close to me anymore. After all, they could be taken away at any time. And you know what? <laughs> she laughs a little bitterly. Her eyes start to well up with tears and I step forward to embrace her, but she holds up a hand to stop me. Not finished. Deep breath and she continues. It worked pretty well until I met you and saw that you were trying to adjust stuff here. So I thought I'd help and then you were so nice and I couldn't help but I just... It's like your T stupid sweater vest. <laughs> yeah, what am I wearing? Oh yeah, because he's like, he went a little too formal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. The tears are flowing now and she accepts the embrace this time. The rest of her sentences mumbled into my chest. I tried not to fall for you, but I did, and then I tried to keep you at a distance like you were my first boyfriend, but I couldn't, and I've been so scared because I don't want to lose you, or I might anyway. And I'm still around, I don't have a heart attack yet, and maybe I won't be forever, but don't you think it'll be fun while it lasts? Neither of us could survive the day, but then there could be a bus crash or something, or my heart, but as long as you know that I've been with you, I don't think it matters. Some thought sharks mean I can't help laughing. My condition had me scared of dying so badly I immediately seized up an opportunity Emmy presented and improved my odds of living longer. Without Emmy, there could have been any motivation to keep on running. It hits me that Emmy is the reason I want to go running every day, so I can spend as much time with her as possible. Emmy looks up at me, confused. We'll go living until we stop. And then when we stop, we'll be living... Oh, sorry. <laughs> can't read Steven. <laughs> <laughs> and I L wouldn't have Lady had to read way. all that and she read it pretty good <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> because I love you Amy and right now that's enough for me Amy smiles through her tears and steps back from me and breaks up with me you know it's funny what well, is I thought the best way to live in the moment was to do it alone, but now I don't think I have to. <laughs> but now I don't think I'd have it any other way. I'm glad I met you, Hassau. Well, you know, these things happen. Emmy and I stay at the grave for a while as Emmy pays her respects to her father. When she's ready to go, we exit the graveyard side by side. So, do we say anything to your dad? Do I introduce myself? Emmy's mother drives us back to Yamaku. The trip back is very quiet. We wave goodbye as oh, the car drives up. Some. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> anal? Yeah. <laughs> you get away from my daughter, you hear? Just a skeleton with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> we wave goodbye as the dr car drives off, and I glance down at the girl leaning on my arm. So, how you doing? Emmy shrugs uh, noncommittally. I'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Okay. He paused outside the girl's dorm and I turn to face Emmy, ready to say goodbye. Why don't you come up for a while? Oh, oh yeah! The walk through the room <laughs> is in silence. I'm not sure why I'm supposed to uh, I'd be turned away at the door. I guess I just assumed she'd want to be alone. Her mom, the nurse, hell, everyone who knew the significance of today seemed to think it's best to leave Emmy alone. But she took me into the graveyard with her. She told me the whole story of what happened that day and she lost her legs. She wanted me around. The significance of why this does not escape me. Amy opens the door, steps in her room, 
Not even bother to invite me in. Holding door for me. Unexpe uh, I step in. And the door swings shut behind me. Hey, can I ask you a fever? Sure can guarantee I'll do it, but uh Amy giggles and puts pulls me into a kiss and then start starts out a soft but deepens into something almost desperate. Stay with me, please. Her voice has dropped to a whisper. Stay with me, please. The question is barely audible over the sound of my own breathing. There's something about the way she asks the question, the hesitancy of it. Quiet voice makes me. She doesn't. She just. I. She, she, no. She means exactly what she says. Just stay with me. Not tonight. Forever. Because both of us know there's no such thing as forever. There's no time limit to her request. This is just a request. Favor. Can I do that? Can I stay with her? Of course. It's hoping to give me a choice and just say no. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> we embrace again. <laughs> Amy guiding me towards yeah. her bed, stepping backwards with care. Until she sits down on the edge. Oh! oh. Okay, <laughs> next time on some park. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I guess, like, you have to make this video age restricted. <laughs> or, like, you can, um... Uh...